Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video which is a haul video and specifically I've decided to call it my Black Friday haul video because a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you, pretty much all of it, has come from Black Friday sales, Black Friday offers, especially around that specific time of year where so many brands were doing various different types of deals. So a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you I've got on sale. Only a couple of things I actually paid full price for, um, just because they happened to be like, for example, the Jeffree Star holiday collection. So it was, I'm not going to get that a deal on that. Obviously, it's just, it was released for the holidays. Um, but quite a lot of things. And what I did was the reason that I've just got it recently is because I had made so many various different orders and they had to reach my mailbox. Now, I've said it like a billion times my mailbox is a forwarding shipping company based in america where i tend to order things for example from anastasia beverly hills and i will spend over their limit of what is it 20 dollars or 30 dollars for free shipping and then send it over to my mailbox they will keep it there i'll place a ColourPop order a makeup geek order jeffree star whatever all send it over there and then they will put it all in one box and send it over to me so i only pay one delivery charge and if I'm going to get a customs charge, one customs charge, rather than having all these individual brands sent over to myself from the US to the UK and have to pay individual customs and shipping charges for each and every one. So it all kind of adds up. OK, first off, let's start off with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, I don't believe that they've ever done a Black Friday sale before. And their sale, I do have to say, was absolutely excellent. Some brands out there, they do the worst kind of sales. It's like you can get 30 percent off if you spend one hundred dollars. And you're just like, what kind of sale is that? That's just like a normal everyday kind of sale. Some brands out there did really rubbish sales. Some brands out there did excellent sales. And Anastasia Beverly Hills did various different types of offers or like percentages off different types of products. So the first one was their um, stick foundation. And the shade that I'm in is in Warm Tan. I've done a review of this, which I'll link below. And this foundation also made its way into my recent top 10 favorite foundations for Asian Pakistani a medium uh, skin tone this was 20% off so I got it again a lot cheaper and I was going to repurchase it because it wasn't a favorite for no reason right they reduced the price of their contour powders now obviously Anastasia Beverly Hills original contour kit is one of the most amazing um, contour and highlighting palettes on the market ever since it came out about two years ago now the one shade that I tend to use from there the most uh, there's two shades actually is banana to always set my under eye and my highlighted points on my face and this actual contour shade called Java and they had reduced them by I can't remember how much it was but they cost like five dollars each so for me that was like four pounds that's so 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 cheap so I bought four why not, right? I'm going to use them a lot and I'll show you what I mean. This is the contour kit, right? There's Java. See, you know I'm not lying. This is probably my third repurchase because these are removable. But I go through this one and Banana a lot. They're the ones that I tend to use the most. So buying four of each made sense to me because I know that I'm going to use them often. And in case you didn't get that, that was, by the way, that was four of Banana as well. So I bought four of Java and four of Banana. And because I spent over or I bought a certain amount of actual um, palettes, I got this free palette with it, which holds six of the any type of contour um, shade that you would like. So pretty good. Now their eyeshadows are something that went really quickly. They were down to like three dollars, I think three to four dollars. So for me in the UK, that's like that's like a drugstore. That's even cheaper than drugstore. So I was lucky. I actually went onto their website quite soon after they had launched their black friday sale so i was able to buy all the stuff that i wanted without having to worry about it selling out because when i checked the next day pretty much everything was sold out now i do already have quite a lot of the eyeshadows uh, in palettes but i have them as singles as well anastasia beverly hills eyeshadows i believe are some of the best on the market they're up there with makeup geek eyeshadows as well i think the only reason that makeup geek tends to beat Anastasia Beverly Hills in my point is the price point they're both equally as good but makeup geek costs less so it makes sense that you would buy more of makeup geek which is what I actually have got I've got way more makeup geek eyeshadows than I have Anastasia Beverly Hills ones also because I ordered over a certain amount I got a free um 
empty palette which holds eight eyeshadows now these first few that i'm going to show you are actually um just repurchases of ones that i already have and are some of my favorite ones this one is called dusty rose this one is as the name suggests it's a gorgeous dusty rose i've got this in a palette and i've got it as a single it's a beautiful mauvey shade this one here is called macaroon it's a very metallic mauvey color with like a hint of silver to it i've got the single version of this and i had to buy it again because it's just one of my favorite eyeshadows i also bought the shade peach sorbet it's not necessarily one of my favorites but if you guys follow me on snapchat you'll remember about a year ago when i dropped a bunch of eyeshadows on the floor and hoovered them up by accident it was such an upsetting moment for me especially because my mum bless her heart actually opened up the hoover opened up the hoover bag and tried to rescue them but obviously by the time the eyeshadows had been sucked up they all had kind of fall into pieces and stuff like that she's so sweet she does such lovely things for me um so i went and bought another one of this one and the same with this one called amber as well they were two of the ones that got sucked up by the hoover <laughs> r.i.p eyeshadows and this shade here as well which is called birkin again it's a repurchase of one that i already have it's a lovely kind of warm brown shade really nice transitional shade and then these other four that I got, one is one that I've not tried and that one is called, this one here is called Rose. I've not tried this one, but these three, the reason that I bought them as singles is because they come, I've got them in a couple of the um, ABH palettes and I wanted them as singles. So that, this one is called Bengal. I think it came in the um, Tamana Roshan eyeshadow palette, the Dress Your Face one. Day Rate as well is another gorgeous kind of neutral shade. And then Buon Fresco, which I believe is in like, is it in the Modern Renaissance palette? It might be, I'm not sure, can't remember. But again, it's a beautiful shade, so I had to buy it. So that's everything that I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now the next brand I'm going to show you, and I'm going to make a little bit of a confession here while I'm at it. Those of you who are following me on Snapchat already know this. Um, Lime Crime. So I have taken myself out of self-imposed exile in terms of buying their products. I mean, I think it was about two, maybe three years ago when there was that massive fiasco of people's um, credit card details being stolen. I think their website was hacked. Loads of people were unhappy about it. I always use PayPal, so I never had this issue. Now, there were people whose information obviously got stolen and I felt really bad for them. I think a lot of people were really pissed off by the way that Lime Crime had handled the whole situation. I mean, personally, I got a letter in the post apologising to me, even though nothing had happened to me, and I appreciated that. But in terms of, like, solidarity and that sort of thing with people that had gone through this, um, I stopped buying their stuff and I haven't bought their stuff in a long time. And then the other day I was like, you know what? I'm going to start buying their stuff again. You know, it's just makeup at the end of the day. I would assume that their website is now a lot stronger than it used to be. A lot of smaller brands don't realise how weak their security systems are until they get hacked. Companies like Jeffree Star, they're still very small. Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think their website is getting bigger. Now they have a UK website as well. Um, so there are loads of brands out there that have still got relatively simple, straightforward websites which have never had to have any kind of security issues. A lime crime dealt with it, dealt with the issue. Let's move on. Let's go. You know, it was a couple of years ago. Let's move on. That's my thoughts about it anyway. So I obviously bought a whole load of stuff from Beautycon, some of their liquid lipsticks kind of catching up on the stuff that I've missed out on over the years. And then they had a Black Friday sale as well. So what they released were their diamond crushes. So the lime crime diamond crushes, which is basically their version of the Steelers uh glitter topper now the Stila glitter topper which is basically a liquid lipstick which is clear liquid but with a glitter in it i love it it is my favorite i've never used a glitter topper to be honest so to say it's my favorite would be strange because i've never compared it to anything else but the quality of it and the way that it works it's, it's just amazing and these i have to say i've used one of them only because I only got this order a couple of days ago. I'm still working my way through it. These are the same quality as the Stila ones as well. They feel like you're gliding water across your lips. And they're non-sticky. The amount of glitter that goes and sits on your lips is excellent. And it doesn't rub off. It doesn't come off. And it really makes your lipstick look amazing. You can wear these on their own. But it will look a little bit strange. Because you'll still be able to see your natural lip colour. Because they are clear. But with a certain type of coloured glitter within it so for example i wore a pink lipstick the other day and i wore one of the pink glitter lip toppers on top perfect i'm gonna have to do a review on these 
and they smell like sweets so what lime crime did was for black friday they did a bundle sale so i got all of these for a little bit less so i've basically got all of them so i am going to do like a review on all of these so that you guys can see what they look like in person personally i highly recommend them i think they're excellent shade is called choke look at the colors man flipping amazing this is the color i was talking about it's called strip I wore it on top of Colourpop's Clueless and it looked amazing. This is called Fluke. This is called Lit. This is called Trip. And this one is called Dope. Also from Lime Crime, I got two of their Velveteens. I got the shade Fetish, which is like a... Because you can't really see through their tubes, can you? It's like a deep purple. Smells, smells like vanilla essence stuff you put in your cakes it's like a deep purpley sort of shade and this one which is called beat it beat it and i think it's like a magenta sort of shade and i can't remember which of these two it was but it was like a bundle deal for two so i got this pearlies lipstick i actually don't think i realized it was one of these lipsticks until i got it in the post i was like is that what i ordered shows what an addict i am love 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 the tube it's just a normal lipstick and this one is called charmed and it looks like this okay so next i'm going to show you is jeffree star stuff jeffree star released his holiday collection and on black friday i believe it was his two-year anniversary of his brand so he also released um some new skin frosts and his first metallic liquid lipstick as well so from the holiday collection, I got four of the lipsticks. They come in a different packaging. Last year it was white and gold. This year is red and gold. I will be doing a review on these separately <clears throat> along with lip swatches just so that I don't make this video super, super long. This is the shade Pumpkin Pie. This is the shade Designer Blood. I have worn this and it's gorgeous. This one is called Deceased and this one is called Sagittarius. To be honest, none of the other lip shades really appeal to me like I'm really not going to wear a green, am I? Like, it looks cool in photos, but I'm not buying something to wear just in photos. I'm wearing it, like, buying it to wear every day. And this shade, Sagittarius, is what I'm actually wearing on my lips today. I love it. Mini, mini rant in the, the middle of this, which will probably come through into the video as well. So, this is the shade called Dream House by Jeffree Star, and it is his first metallic liquid lipstick. And for those of you that are in the know that have paid attention to this sort of stuff in the past, Jeffree Star initially showed... It was like a peachy gold and metallic liquid lipstick a long time ago. Sometime, I think it was last year or maybe the beginning of this year, I can't remember. And he said he was going to launch it and in the summer and then he never did. And then I remember him saying, I did show you guys, but I wasn't happy with the formula of the metallic liquid lipstick. So I wanted to go away. I wanted to really work on it, redefine everything and put out a product that I'm really, really happy with. So when this was going to be launched, this is a bright Barbie pink, gorgeous colour. I was really excited and I, not going to lie, I had very high expectations. No less because of the comments that he actually made saying it wasn't good enough to begin with. So I'm going to work hard on it and I'm only going to bring it out if it's excellent. This is not anywhere near excellent. This is substandard. This is as bad as the Colourpop metallic liquid lipsticks. I, when I put it on and I wore this to my work Christmas party, I put on one layer. I could see my lips still through it. It's quite thick in texture. I don't know if it's got anything to do with me not shaking it enough or anything like that. But then even other liquid lipsticks of his, I've never had that issue. And I know with metallic liquid lipsticks, it can be a little bit different. But these are quite thick. They've got a strange smell to them. They are quite thick. So... When I applied it and it applied quite patchy and like I said, I could see my lips still through it. I had to put another layer on. I could still see my lips through it. I put three layers on. Three layers. Not four. Three. Three layers on. And um, my mouth started to get all, you know, constricted. That feeling that you get when you've got too much liquid lipstick on your lips. That drying feeling. By the time I got to my party, I licked my lips and it felt like I had food stuck on my teeth, uh, on my lips. So I picked up my lip 
and this literally picked off into my hands. It looked horrible towards the end of the evening. So even though he's now releasing two new shades as well, I'm not gonna really bother with them. The thing is when he shows swatches on his Snapchat, it looks all lovely and liquidy and beautiful. But then that's how this one showed as well. So I don't know if it's the formula, if I've just been unlucky, but if he's coming out and saying or making statements like, I have brought this out, which has been reformulated, and he keeps saying it again and again and again. And that's why it gets me even more annoyed. Like, I'm going to look on my Twitter page right now and let me say the reason why I keep bringing this up. It really annoys me. Here's one of these. I'm so excited to finally release more metallic shades for everyone. Thank you for being patient while I worked on my formula. You didn't work hard enough, mate. I know I talked about releasing these months ago, but the formula wasn't good enough for you guys. I'm so happy with them now. And of course, you'll know, y'all, sorry, y'all, y'all know, y'all know I'm coming out with so many more metallic liquid lipsticks. I already have 10 more in the vault ready for spring. No! why your first one is so horrible and you're going to copy that formula and release it on these no settled within the lines of my lips and you know what i don't mean to be mean but people who've had lip fillers done on their lips they never have the issue of having a liquid lipstick settled within the lines of their lips because they don't have none because their lips have been plumped out on purpose i'm just a regular joe with regular lips and this settled within the lines of my lips as well so i'm just letting people out there know i know people think that i'm some big jeffree star kiss ass i'm really not it's about the brand and the product and i am saying it very clearly right now the metallic liquor lipsticks pff, not so good i also bought two of his latest skin frosts which are his versions of highlighters and i haven't obviously used them yet this first one here is called regina george and for those of you who don't know who that is, that is the uh, woman in, uh, or the young girl from Mean Girls. One of the most awesome films ever. Haven't obviously used it on my face. We'll probably use it as on my lid as well because I do love bright pinks. But I might just put it on my lips as well. Who knows? Or lavendery pink shade called Princess Cut. So the next brand I'm going to show you some stuff from is Ofra Cosmetics. I have never ordered from Ofra before. I've heard really good things about their liquid lipsticks. So when they announced that they were doing a 50% off everything sale, I was like, hello, of course I had to go for it. Uh, those of you on Snapchat know the issues I had with ordering from Ofra. They actually said that they thought I was fraudulent and spam. They took my money, then they said this. They made me send them proof of my ID. I was like, I don't have ID in the UK. We don't have ID cards or anything like that. I had to send them a picture of my driver's license, which is so dumb, because unless you, I don't know what the driver's license in the US looks like, so how can you say what is and isn't legit? The most stupidest thing I've ever come across, but you know what, I'll rant about that in the actual review video that I do of these, but really, really unprofessional, really unhelpful. I said, it doesn't even make Makes sense you are flagging up my order as fraud yet you've taken the money so it can't be fraud then can it you stupid idiots anyway so I heard quite a lot of things about their liquid lipstick so I ordered a few of them this one here is called Malibu this one is Miami fever I think this is the collaboration with Kathleen lights I think is it maybe no 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 sorry that's this one here called Havana nights which is like a very deep brownie red shade gorgeous haven't used any of these by the way yet uh miami fever and then this one is called mina and then i also got this funny looking little set this is from their valentine's day um whatever they did for valentine's because so funny i got a valentine's card saying happy valentine's i was like okay it's december cheers and i got these liquid lipsticks with it not bad eh and then I also got one of their highlighters, which I'd heard so much about. This one is called Rodeo Drive. I can't wait to use this. I'll be honest, I am quite curious about Ofra. I want to know what the big deal is, because all these people are always collaborating with them and this, that and the other, and that means nothing to me. You know, sometimes things can be bought, you know. Companies like Morphe and whatnot, you lot are pretty much doing as well as you are because of other youtubers and stuff like that and i know it's the same with ofra as well so i'm gonna let the products do the talking for themselves and i will do a review on those liquid lipsticks that i showed you guys and let you know my thoughts at some point soon oh what else do i have to show you color pop oh my god 
it wouldn't be a whole video without at least a million and one things from Colourpop, right? Now, all the stuff I'm going to show you were from about six different orders that came through at various different times. And some of my Colourpop orders were missing, so they had to resend them. And pretty much, pretty much everything that I'm going to show you I got on sale. So if it was reduced from a $6 liquid lipstick to $4 or buy one get one free or there, there's always different kinds of offers that Colourpop are doing and have been doing over the past couple of weeks so some of the things I'm going to show you are restocks um, for example two of my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks by Colourpop are More Better and Bad Habit so I bought two of each Colourpop Mama how many times have I told you guys I love that orange shade I already have two or three of them I went and bought another one so that sort of thing so I'm just going to quickly run through some of these um, for you guys and yes I am still planning to do a all-time favorite Colourpop eyeshadows and lipsticks video because clearly I have got some which are such favorites that I keep buying them again and again but this baby blues ultra matte lip collection which they made for the holidays I actually bought this one for myself and I bought another one for my best friend for Christmas there's um a few in here with Avenue I already have and Notion I already have awesome shades Mink, Smitten and Playdate I don't have and these are full sized and at the moment you can still get them on a, quite a good deal so this one is more better I bought two of these I absolutely love 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 this shade this is Bad Habit of which I've now got like a million I bought two of these this is the shade R and B I've this is my second one the infamous mama this is like i don't know how many i've got so many of these now love it just terracotta shade is called bumble my uh first one i ever bought is nearly finished so i restocked and from the hello kitty collection because they reduced this as well this is lock diary ultra satin lip love this shade so i bought another one now the few other liquid lipsticks uh, or lipsticks in general that i got from ColourPop are some new ones and some that i hadn't tried before but i wanted to for example this one here is called molly and it is a ultra satin lip i've never tried that one it's been out for a while and so has this one called lost which is a gorgeous brownish red so these two are ones that have been around for a little while but as they were on sale why not and the same goes for this one which i got in one of those small sets for the holidays last year and my one's nearly finished so i bought a full size clueless which is a beautiful pink this pink works really well on medium skin tones a pale pink but it does work well on our skin tone. Pale pinks I normally stay away from because they can make you look a bit washed out. So these ones which come in this like uh, leopard print stroke roses packaging. I can't remember why the what's the why it's like this. And it comes in frosted packaging which Colourpop don't normally do. I'm sure somebody below will let me know the reasoning behind this. I just can't remember honestly. So this one is called Wild Nothing and it's an ultra matte lip. This one is called Wink and it's an ultra satin lip. And this one is an also and this one is also an ultra satin lip and it's called Bijou. And then from this same collection or whatever it was came these eyeshadows. Now from what I can remember these eyeshadows are some of their most popular ones from the last holidays and two of them I actually already have so I had to get them again because they're two of my favorites and it was basically restocking they've even put them in different packaging they've put them they're normally i their eyeshadows are in white packaging these came in black so this is tinsel this is tinsel and this is slay slay's a bit broken but you can push them down i love these these are two of my most favorite metallic eyeshadows by ColourPop. and then this shade just for fun it's okay it kind of let me down it's quite sheer but it was nice to wear as a very soft pink eye look and this is another repeat purchase called Kush, because I love this shade too. This is called Fringe. This is a really popular one, which came out again, so I had to have it. Did not disappoint. This shade is a bit broken. It's called Glitterati, and it's metallic. It's gorgeous, bright silver. And that's actually what I'm wearing on my inner tear duct, if you can see. This shade is called Catnap, and from what I remember, all proceeds of the sales for this go towards some sort of cat charity. I can't remember exactly what the details are. I got this shade called Eye Candy. And then randomly, because I know I didn't order these, these two were thrown in. They're miniatures. This one is WeHo, which is an ultra glossy lip. And then this one is called Finders Keepers. I actually think I have the full size of these. And I am going to do a giveaway at some point soon. Um, because I've got a bunch of L'Oreal stuff. A bunch of NYX eyeshadows which I want to do as a giveaway. So I'll throw these two in as well. Why not? Might as well. 
so i think that's it oh my god i'm really sorry that this video is so long but i had so much to get through as you guys can see but a lot of this stuff is now going to go into my restock section that i have because like the contour kits you know i've got four of each i just need to put them away and bring them out when i need them and that sort of thing so i hope you guys enjoy this video like comment subscribe and i'll see you all soon bye